With the Quantum 852, we have introduced two brand new control features, channel macros and macro orders. Beginning with channel macros, these contain the exact same list of controls as regular macros, but are assigned on a per channel basis. This means the controls move with the channels, changing their position depending on the console layout, and speeds up the process of programming large-scale theatrical or live productions. Each channel within the console, whether an input, auxiliary, group, matrix, or control group, has four channel macro buttons available, A, B, C, and D. These can be found at the top of each channel strip on the touchscreen, and A and B are also duplicated as physical buttons above each fader. Here, the use of star macros can be very powerful. A star macro has no designated channel number attached when programming, and simply affects whichever channel it is attached to. An example of this is setting your A button to be your alternative input, and your B button to be your main input in case of any failures within the show. If you then add more backups to the show, you can simply assign these controls to more channels. For monitor engineers, we can quickly set up individual talkback buttons for each IEM feed without having to navigate to our talkback quick select. Finally, we can put our emergency help macros up on the top on C and D, somewhere where we can get to them without accidentally triggering them. One example of this would be if one leg of a stereo feed was lost, quickly being able to patch left to left and right, or vice versa, whilst the issue was being fixed. The Quantum 852 has 13 macro orders, short for macro encoders, on its surface. Three banks of four, and one special Roger encoder. These macro orders can be assigned to be one controlled permanently, or can change depending on which channel is selected. Use cases for these encoders could include most appropriate effects send, where the displayed send levels changed depending on the channel selected, or if there was a particular EQ band you wanted easy access to on a vocal channel. You can also assign multiple parameters to the same encoder with relative changes made as you turn the macro order. This could be used to control a send to a set of wedge monitors and side fills simultaneously, with one dial relatively adding to each send accordingly. Finally, we have the Roger encoder, named after our longtime software guru, Roger Wood giving a single 360 degree assignable rotary control within easy reach. We've seen this used for multiple different parameters, including near field speaker levels, and even controlling the entire console brightness in one turn. If you want to have a play at programming some channel macros and macro orders, be sure to download the latest offline version of the Quantum 852 software from our support site. Many thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our latest videos online.